Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be coloring this coral reef picture and I forgot to actually turn the camera on when I was doing the sky and I thought it was on so I was over here just talking to myself. So the sky is done. It was done with like the strategy where you go like do 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 and then you leave a white space and you go like that. So up from Bailey J's new post about the Link Beach picture. Well it probably won't be new when I'm posting this. It'll probably be a bit older. Because I have a few videos ahead of this that I'm going to be posting first. So, yeah. Now I'm going to move on to doing the water in the coral and fish will be last. So, I used the color Ice Blue for the um, sky. And I really like the sky. But I need the water to be a different color. So, I'm thinking of doing... Maybe a, not a dark blue, but like a medium toned blue. So I'm going to pick that color out and I'll be back. I decided that I was going to use the color nautical blue. I was going to do denim, but denim is way too close to dying. So I'm going to use nautical for the ocean water. Because I want it to be kind of like a tropical feel. And when you go like scuba diving... And like maybe the tropical places, most of the water is clear, so I don't want to do like a darker colored water. So I'm choosing nautical blue, which is a really nice color. And I'm going to color it a little bit. Hold on, my frame. I am in frame. So I'm going to color a little bit, and um, then I'll stop it because I don't want to waste too much time, obviously. So nautical blue is a color that's really, really close to the denim. Um, I can't remember which one's lighter and which one's darker. And it's really, really close to the denim. But it's not the same color. But it's pretty close. It's, it's kind of like the same one. So I didn't want to use the light color like this one. Because then it would blend in with the... And it just looks really, really weird. So I'm choosing to use this one. And I really like it. And I think it's going to turn out perfect. Okay, so here's a small update. Um, my nautical blue is really dying. But, um, I'm doing the water and it kind of looks really weird because you can see, like, where I stopped coloring and where I was coloring. And I don't really like that, but, I mean, I can't really do anything about it because this is, this part's dying and it won't, that's what I can get out of it. So I have to use a chisel tip and... So it looks really, really bad, and I'm really, really sorry about that. Really sorry. So I finished doing the water, and I'm not really happy about it, but there's not much I can really do about it. I mean, on the camera, it looks like a cool effect on at least this side, but in real life, it doesn't look that good, so... Yes, so now I'm going to move on to doing coral, and the fish are going to be last. So, yeah, I'm going to start off, wonderful, I'm going to start off with this one on this side, oops, got that right here. and um, I want to do it. It was the first thing that I drew. No, it wasn't the rock was, but it was the first piece of coral that I drew. So I wanted to do it with the coral reef. Margaret, they're gonna be all sorts of colors and it's gonna be really nice and pretty. But I just wanted to do that really quick and then I'll do like this one over here. And now I'm going to do the coral and yeah so I'm gonna leave it on um, for a few seconds but so I picked out an array of colors and this is the ones that I'm gonna use for the coral and other things in the picture so I'm gonna leave it on while or keep the video going while I color just a few of them so hopefully this is in frame I can't really, I can't really see Give me a second. Maybe I'll try for a thumbnail. There's a bunch of markers. 
but like you can kind of see through them Hold on kind of move them to like like this yeah looks nice so I'm just gonna check if I'm in frame and then I'll get started starting off with R9 magenta and I'm gonna do the humongo piece of coal right here And yeah. So I'm back and I finished coloring all the coral and the rocks. And I think it looks really neat. Really cool. I'm going to kind of make this rock have like a lot of texture in it. And so that's why that line was there. I was going to make it look like a crack. But it didn't turn out that right. So I'm going to do it and I'll be back. I'm back again after giving it some texture. And now I'm going to color the fish. I'm going to do this on camera because there's not that many fish. And so I feel like I can color them all. So I'm going to first grab just some colors that I can use. That are really simple and really, really easy. And there's one that's an angel fish. So I'm going to need black. If I can find it, I'll just okay, my black. And these are all the colors in this so it hopefully works. So... First one I'm going to do is the little angelfish. It's like white and black. Because they hang out at like coral reefs, I think. I'm not sure. But, um. Yeah, so I did that one. And these are going, the bubbles are going to be colored. I just haven't decided what to color them. And yes. So there's a clownfish, and then there's just gonna be a yellowfish, two yellowfish. Then we're just gonna get a purple one. pink and then we're just gonna have one pink fish all pink fish and then now I'm gonna do the bubbles which I can also do on camera these are gonna kind of have a side to them I'm just gonna color this blue color so and that's it this is the entire coral reef picture, and last but not least, I'll have to do sign it. That'll be all for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!